Walking the dog is a daily must do for us pet owners. But ensuring that the dog enjoys the walk has fun while also ensuring the safety of the dog, people around, and the environment as much as possible is a big challenge. Today, Paul Kud has provided an answer. The product, Airlish, claims to be the world's first smart tension GPS harness. How does it perform on Earth? Can it really free my hands when I'm walking my favorite friends Candy and Sparkle? Recently, I was given a sneak peek of the Airlish prototype, and this video is probably the most detailed walkthrough of it. So be sure to watch till the end for my conclusion, as I will give you all my honest opinions. What's good, what needs to be improved, and more. The design is pretty simple. There's a module on the top of the coat, which is built in with a GPS module, battery, lasso, chiresa. It sounds like a lot, but actually, the weight feels fine. There's a type C charging port on the side, as well as a buckle ring for connecting your own leash. The port could air leash also has another version that comes with a retractable dog leash. You can choose the one that suits you. Moving down are the two straps that connect the lasso to the front legs of the doggy. That's basically the design. No fancy doggy keys, every bit is designed for practical use. On the port could air leash crawler funding page, there are several different sizes available, so you can choose the one that suits you the most. All links are down in the description, you can check it out. Now, let's put the air leash to use because my candy is just sitting there impatiently waiting to try it on. Putting on the coat, as the video shows, reminds me of dressing my kids. Even candy's indifferent look is the same. Then, fasten the buckle strap, it's magnetic and easy to put on, but it might take a bit of tweak to get off, which is good as they will not easily shake off when the dog enjoys running. Same on the other side. With that done, you can always adjust the strap a little bit if it's too loose or tight. Finally, to the last step, secure the straps around the dog's two front legs. Done. Easy peasy. That's how it looks on my candy. It looks comfortable on her, and she seems to enjoy it when I'm pulling on. I'm glad that my candy acts like a candy. She has a really good temper. I also tried another Irish version on Sparkle. He's a quick temper boy always full of energy, just like me. Always curious about things where I'm putting it on. But still, I can easily put it on, and he seems to like it as well. All right, enough about that. Now, let's turn the air leash on by tapping the power button once. The indicator is flashing. Then, go to the phone app, click the button to connect, wait for a few seconds, it will be connected. And the indicator turns solid on. The air leash comes with a wrist controller that can be connected to the app as well. To use the controller, you can simply press and hold the setup button and the lasso will retract. As you can see, Sparkle literally feels the pressure and sits down. You can also control the lasso through the app. Let's talk a little bit more about the app, as it's very important for the air leash. This is the home page. Dog distance indicates how far you are from your dog. Pet burst value is a measure of the dog's sudden increase in speed. Calculated by the Smart Harness Accelerometer is an excellent feature and we likely have the actual video to show you a little bit later. Status shows whether you are tightening or loosening the lasso. You see two buttons at the bottom. Press and hold the red button to tighten the lasso. When you release the button, it will stop retracting. The green button is to loosen the lasso. If we take a closer look, we can see there are two values under the status function. The left value represents the real-time tension applied to the dog, while the right value indicates the maximum tension you set for your dog. Therefore, even if the applied tension exceeds the maximum value you set, it won't apply the force continuously, just to prove the further harm to your dog. Safety first, thumbs up for that. What under loss is the maximum distance you want to set for your dog's walk. Once it reaches the edge, the lasso will retract automatically, and the dog should feel the force and see them. What to burst prevent is the value you set for your dog's sudden moving force. The smaller it is, the more sensitive it is. And that's basically the key features on the phone app. It is still in its prototype stage, as you would notice, but for the key functions, it performs really well. It actually works. And speaking of that, let me finally show you the most important part of the air leash, how it works, and whether the dog feels comfortable or not. First, what every dog owner cares about is whether it's safe to use and how the lasso retracting feels. Obviously, the dog cannot speak, so I actually placed my fingers under the lasso when it was retracting. I found the tension to be very smooth and even. 
not like a sudden force pushing onto my fingers. It outputs the tension gradually and effectively. So I would imagine it won't harm the dog when retracting. Here you can see that when I press the button to retract, Sparkle gradually stops walking and starts sitting. However, I notice something in front of him, so he keeps sniffing around. Then I press the button again, and he sat right down. I even lay him down. After that, I press the green button to loosen the lasso, and Sparkle stood up and walked around again. This perfectly demonstrates the entire working process. It eases the dog down, while at the same time, a dog doesn't appear frightened or uncomfortable. Another highlight of Eilish is the pet burst prevention mode. As I mentioned before, when it detects the dog's sudden exerting force and charging forward, the Eilish will automatically retract. It might sound a bit hard to believe, but I actually got a shot of that. During the video shooting, an unexpected Shiba Inu came from nowhere and tried to, you know, do that kind of thing to Sparkle. Sparkle obviously got furious, but as you can see, the lasso retraction kicked in. As Sparkle had to slow down, if you look closely, the last imp pulled his leg up a little bit, which definitely calmed him down. Finally, Sparkle sat down, avoiding a furious fight. I'm sorry that the entire video almost completely went out of focus because this shot was not scripted and everything happened so fast. But this authentic footage actually explains the pet burst prevention mode. Of course, just in case, you can still use the physical leash to manually control your dog, like when crossing the road or when there are too many people or dogs around. Other cool functions include the GPS positioning. I can set up the electronic fence so my dog can enjoy running by himself without worrying about getting lost. Let me give you a glimpse of the dynamic GPS coordinates here when my dog walks around. It is actually very accurate. However, due to limited time with the LH prototype, I didn't get to fully test the battery left. We used it for around 4 hours and there was about 53% battery left. So, one charge was supposed to provide around 8 hours of use. Can I complain about that? To conclude, the Pocket LH has amazed me with its smart solution for walking the dog. Instead of using traditional methods like electric shock leashes or fixed leashes to frighten or train the dog, it just provides a tension strap to let the dog calm down naturally and behave. Certainly this early leash is not suitable for every dog. For super miniature breeds like Teddy, I just don't see the point in using it. However, for the larger dogs, this could be a perfect fit. This is a product that you should consider. It's easy to set up, safe to use without causing any pain or fear to your dogs. And it could definitely free up your hands and allow your dog to follow its natural instincts letting both you and your dog enjoy the walk. If you are interested, definitely go and check out the link in the description. I'm Sammy, I'll see you in the next one.